What's up, guys? Go back here and here's more. Take a look at two Ray minifigures from two different brands. So this is episode one of Brand vs. Brand, a new mini series I've come up with. So, anyways, in this we compare different um, same characters but different brands of figures. So, anyways, we're going to be looking at Lego vs. Disney Infinity, and we will be looking at the Ray figure. So, anyways, let's start by taking a little look at Lego's Ray minifigure. And there she is. And it does look really good. Everything is really accurate. All the printing is really well done. The hair piece is a new hair piece just for Ray. Really, really cool. The faces went was well done. And she does have uh, her staff. And she also has a double-sided face, which is also a neat feature of the Lego Ray minifigure. And here's the Disney Infinity Ray minifigure, who is pretty cool as well. Uh, definitely have quite a bit of detail, even like the green eyes and everything. The hair piece is well done. Everything here is well done. Uh, the pole is actually a little more detailed than the Lego version, and a little more accurate. But overall, very well done. Very, very cool. She's gonna have a, she even has a pouch there. So, pretty cool Disney Infinity figure. And we also have Legos here as well. So, what we do have to take in, into account here is the figure size. And the price. And kind of their standard. So, obviously, Lego. That's a good minifigure for a Lego figure. Um, definitely pretty well done. Um, kind of, I guess, the problem here would be is the staff. That's probably my biggest problem with this is the staff is like black <laughs> they could have done something where they put like a tan piece in the middle and then two gray pieces on the end and that might have worked but all black i don't think was the best choice they still have the pouch ray still has her pouch which is really really neat um two facial expressions which is cool but uh, i guess the other problem with the lego figure would be the gray arms and if we look at Ray Disney Infinity version, you can see she does not have gray arms. <laughs> like, she doesn't have, like, gray sleeves or anything. So, however, you gotta take into account the size and the standard and everything. So, the standard for Disney Infinities is pretty cool. Um, it's very well done. It is pretty awesome. So, this figure, it, I mean, it's pretty close to all the other... Disney Infinity figures. It's no Hulkbuster. Hulkbuster figure is pretty cool. But uh, it's still very well done. I think there's a lot of detail. It's a lot bigger than the Lego version, though. So do take that into account. And so, there you go. That is Lego Ray versus Disney Infinity Ray. So, oh, I guess one more thing would be that you can move the staff around and everything. It's pretty cool. So, anyways... Let me know in the comments below, who do you think is the better figure? Which brand has the better figure? Lego or Disney Infinity? So anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys all later.